Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Premier League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video, I thought I'll create a draft that has Harry Kane and Haaland in the same team that is still good enough for us to use. I did check a draft out with Harry Kane, Salah and Haaland together, but that was quite difficult to create a decent team. I think what we need to do is wait and go through the pre-season games and see a couple of game weeks and then start figuring out, oh, okay, there's some cheap players that we can bring in our teams that is doing well, then we can bring those three proper premium players in. But I think for now, two might be enough. Um, and it was still difficult as well because there were some players that I had to sacrifice, but the team looks pretty good still. Okay, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this. It's a little bit of fun and let me know in the comments below what you think as well. So here we go. Now, first up, my main goalkeeper is going to be Pickford. He is 4.5, 15.7% owned right now. Obviously, he's early stages, but this is where the fun begins, or creating drafts. Um, yeah, not many clean sheets from him, obviously. Um, you know, Everton nearly got relegated. Only eight clean sheets from, from Everton, but he's, he's 4.5. I think Leno is 4.5 as well. He is another good option there. The fixtures for Everton and starting first four. It's actually not too bad. They've got Fulham at home. Then it's Aston Villa away in game week two. And Wolves at home. The Sheffield United. That's an okay kind of start. I think if we're going to wildcard early. Maybe going for Pickford. And just seeing what happens. Maybe the way to go. So Pickford in goal so far. Now, if we move to my defenders, as you can see, I got uh, Esputin Han from Brighton. I think he's going to be quite highly owned. Um, the fixtures for Brighton is is pretty good. Uh, a five million uh, defender that is attacking, um, forty nine point four percent owned, so it's quite highly owned there. Uh, one goal, uh, seven assists, ten clean sheets to his name, fifteen bonus points, four yellow cards. Not bad at all. Um, the first few games is pretty good. Um, you know, looting at home, Wolves away, uh, West Ham at home, Newcastle at home. You just never know, you know, even these difficult fixtures, what Brighton can do. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is obviously we have to see what happens in the preseason. You know, things could be different. And the transfer window is still open. You know, I have to mention that all the time because anything can happen and, you know, players could get transferred to another club. Uh, I've got Zinchenko. Something a little bit different, uh, 5 million, as you can see, 15.1% owned, uh, one goal last season, two assists, 10 clean sheet points there. He has the potential to do really, really well. Um, and fixtures for Arsenal is really good. So, you know, bringing an Arsenal defender could be the way to go as well. Not, um, not in Frost at home, uh, Crystal Palace away. Uh, in game with they've got Fulham at home, you know, just to see how things go for them um i think definitely investing in an arsenal defender is not a bad shout at all i know a lot of people would be going for trent and i'm going to be going for trent as well but i thought i'll, I'll give this a shot having harry kane and harlan in the team and just to make the whole team decent enough so yeah went for zinchenko good fixtures as well because you just never know they could keep some clean sheets there and the other player is Luke Shaw. One goal, four assists to his name, 12 clean sheet points, uh, 20 um, point bonus points there. Eight yellow cards, so he gets a lot of yellow cards there. Uh, he's a little bit of a you know player that could get injured quite a lot, but yeah, he did, he did a decent amount last season. 5.5, a little bit on the expensive side. 35.9% owned. Um, the fixtures for Manchester United are okay. I'm not saying they're the best, but there are a couple of home games here that is is pretty good. You got Wolves at home, then he Spurs away is going to be a little bit difficult. I can see a clean sheet here against Nottingham Forest and so on. So yeah, that's my back line. You let me know what you think. I think in here we're just missing maybe uh, Reese James or Trent, but those are the sacrifices that we have to kind of do. Now, if we go to the midfielders, and as you can see, you have got quite a lot of good players here, I must say. Uh, Eze, 
So as a is 6.5, 12.2% owned. Uh, last season, he scored 10 goals, five assists. Um, there's nine clean sheet points there, as always helps. Uh, 21 bonus points to his name. The fixtures for Crystal Palace is not bad at all. They've got Sheffield uh, United away, Arsenal at home. Quite a difficult one there. And um, Brentford away. Uh, Wolves at home. So not the best fixtures, actually, if you keep looking at it. It's not <laughs> that that good. But as a, you know, uh, towards the end of the season, he, he done really, really well. So definitely a, a one to kind of watch as well. So I'll put Eze in the team just to fill up the draft. And I think he is a, a good option. Uh, if we move on to Mitoma, um, seven goals, nine assists to his name, eight clean sheet points there, 11 bonus points uh, last season. He didn't even play that much last season and he got a decent amount of returns. So I think the the starting, the start of the season, he, he, he didn't play as much. So he came off the bench quite a lot. So 6.5, 39.1% owned, highly owned. A lot of people know him and a lot of people are going to be looking at um, Brighton midfielders as well. So I don't want to talk too much about him. Uh, got Saka, so an Arsenal uh, attacker here, 8.5, um, 47.2% owned, um, 14 uh, goals, 12 assists to his name. He's on penalties. Well, hopefully he continues to keep uh, his penalty spots um, because Jesus is around as well now. Um, but yeah, like the fixtures for Arsenal, I mean, I think it's kind of a must-have to have at least maybe one or two. So uh, I went with Saka. I could go for Odegaard. I can go for Gabriel Jesus, save that um, 0 0.5 and upgrade someone else. That could be an option as well. And Inwamo is a... I, I like this option. You know, he's now a midfielder in this game instead of a forward. Um, but as a striker, I mean, last season, uh, he scored nine goals, nine assists there, um, 19 bonus points. Um, Tony's not going to be there, so he's going to be pretty much the main striker for Brentford. And if he keeps himself fit and he, he doesn't transfer to another club, these fixtures are pretty damn good for Brentford to do well in. And I think he's probably going to be their uh, number one player. And I, and I hope that he takes the penalties. That would be that would be fantastic to see. But yeah, in Wilmo, 6.5. I think this is pretty damn good change as well as a midfielder because he plays up front for Brentford. And obviously we've got Rashford, so I could actually get like 1 million, so I could go for Bruno Fernandes and remove Saka to go and get um, maybe a Gabriel Jesus is 8 million, so I could remove um, but I, I could get like 1 million to kind of spend elsewhere and upgrade another player if I wanted to but Rashford, yeah, 17 goals last season, uh, 7 assists as you can see, 13 clean sheet points there helps out a lot. Uh, 21 bonus points. Um, the fixtures for Manchester United are good enough for them to do well in. So, yeah, that's my midfield. It's quite a, quite a strong midfield there. And if we move downwards on, obviously, we've got Harry Kane with Haaland. Harry Kane, 12.5. Very, very expensive. It's either you bring him or, or Haaland. It's quite difficult to bring in three premium players like Salah as well in here. You've got to make a lot of downgrades. That's why I say let's just wait for the preseason. We'll see more cheap players and, and so on. Things could change, right? 17.2% owned. And as you can see, 30 goals from him. Nine assists. Um like 48 bonus but he's a bonus point magnet he, he's someone that he can score against anyone the fixtures uh for uh for Spurs is not bad at all brentford away manchester united at home bournemouth away uh, in the first three at least is pretty good and obviously harlan the main captain 36 goals nine assists to his name 40 bonus points 14 million quite a lot of money there um and 82.6 owned yeah so that is my draft that has harry kane and harlan and the overall team looks pretty good still so yeah let me know in the comments below and as you can see there are a couple of really cheap zero million defenders like bulldog here from sheffield united that actually plays for them um i'm not saying that the fixtures are good or whatever i'm just saying that it's, it's a plain Four million. There's quite a few four million defenders out there that is going to definitely help. Bell, um, I saw that a lot of people are talking about so far. Add him into the team just to um, make the draft. Twenty point, twenty one point um, five 
4.8% owned, so I need to check that out. I don't think storage is going to play, but, uh, you know, he's 4.5. If we find another 4.5, that'd be great. And if we find, like, a, a 4 million um, playing goalkeeper, I mean, I, I think we would just play the 4 million playing goalkeeper and then we'll scrape up a lot of money and upgrade someone else. But, yeah, that is pretty much it, really. Let me know in the comments below what you think about having Harry Kane and Haaland in the same team. Is it hurting the team a lot? I think it might hurt it a little bit. I think with them two, we have to sacrifice like Salah or Trent. Um, and I think a lot of people are going to go for Trent. And I don't know if this is a, a draft that I would go for. But it's definitely good enough. It's, it's actually, it could do really well. Because you still got two Brighton players. you got two Arsenal. you got two Manchester United. you still got Haaland, you know. And you got really cheap players that could do really well as well so and you've got two main strikers who's definitely going to bring you the points i think this could work um but it's just all about what you think about it and how do you really feel about this uh, team you know can you go without salah and trent if that's the case then this is your team but i mean if you look at the defenders there's a few defenders that you can change and swap things around you can change your goalkeeper i think there is definitely uh, a chance to improve this but we'll see what happens in the preseason right that will give us a better understanding of the players and who might do well anyways guys thank you so much for joining i hope that this video has helped you please give the video a like hopefully this video will get around 50 likes that will be incredible and yeah i'll see you guys next time see ya